quick tools. I've recently shared a video I made for the 3D render challenge that has an alien egg set in it. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly model and animate organic stuff like this by just using mostly procedural techniques. If you are making a long organic trail like the one I made, you can start by adding a curve and modify the path according to your needs. Then, increase the bevel depth to make it look like a tube. You can then select each of the individual control points in edit mode and adjust the radius value to tell where you want it to be bigger or smaller. Once you are happy with how it looks, we will need to convert the curve into a mesh in order to proceed with the next steps. You can do this by either going to the object drop down menu or simply hit F3 and type convert in the search bar. I'm going to switch to a different scene to demonstrate the following steps for the sake of clarity. In this example, I have a modified mesh that is somewhat cylindrical in shape. The first modifier I use is a displacement modifier. I did not use any textures for this because I want an all-around displacement just to puff it up and make it look slightly bloated. This step is optional depending on how you want your mesh to look like. Next, we need to add a subdivision modifier to add more topology to the model in order to get better definitions for what's to come. What follows next is another displacement modifier. I have used the Voronoi texture that is set to distance squared and increased the size to around 2.5 to get large bumps all over the model. I have also assigned the vertex group that I have created previously to properly distribute the influence of where I want this modifier to affect the mesh. In this case, I don't want my displacements to affect both ends of the model. I then added another layer of displacement modifier, but this time, I used a smaller size Voronoi texture and reduced the strength for the purpose of adding smaller bump details on the overall mesh. As you can see, we've already achieved the organic alien look that resembles something like an intestine. As for the animation, I've used an empty to drive the texture coordinates of the larger Voronoi displacement. Simply select Object in the Coordinates drop-down menu and pick the empty. Now, all you have to do is animate the translation, rotation, or scale of this empty to create really interesting movements for your displacement. The last modifier is a simple deform that I use to bend the mesh, just to give it a more interesting form. Now it looks like some sort of cocoon or lava. That's all! I hope you liked this video and I found it useful. Until next time, thank you for watching, save your file, and I'll see you in the next video. Hi! <laughs> Subscribe!